I had a thought which I wanted to share. It is important for Muslims to firmly believe that they will not intensely miss anything they give up for the sake of Allah, the exalted, whether the thing is unlawful or lawful but unnecessary. One should not fall for the whisperings of the devil by believing otherwise, as he has made it his mission to misguide people. For example, whenever a Muslim is inspired to donate charity, the devil quickly warns and frightens them with poverty, which in many cases causes a Muslim to change their mind, even though they fully believe they will not become poor donating some of their wealth. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 268 Satan threatens you with poverty and orders you to immorality, while Allah promises you forgiveness from him and bounty. And Allah is all-encompassing and knowing. A Muslim should act on the other half of this verse and instead trust that Allah, the Exalted, will replace the thing they give up for his sake with something much better. Those who have experienced this know the truth of this statement, but those who have not must review history and observe how those who gave things up for the sake of Allah, the Exalted, succeeded in both worlds. For example, the grandson of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, namely, Imam Hassan bin Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, gave up authority in order to save the lives of countless people for the sake of Allah, the Exalted. His action had in fact been prophesied in a narration found in Sahih Bukhari, number 3629. In exchange Allah, the Exalted, granted him blessings and reward far beyond any position of authority could give him. For example, he has been declared the leader of the youth of paradise in a narration found in Jami Atimizi, number 3768. It is as if he gave up leadership in this world and was granted a greater authority in the next world. As long as a Muslim is sincere in their action, Allah, the Exalted, will replace what they give up for his sake with something much better. Chapter 2 Al-Baqarah, verse 245. Who is it that would loan Allah a goodly loan, so he may multiply it for him many times over? Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.